Hi and welcome to this demo video of Framed Shapes. Framed Shapes is sort of like drawing with GMS functions draw a rectangle and draw a circle, but it comes with some advantages. There are scripts to create, draw and delete shapes. All you need to do is call an init script once, call one create script per shape and call a draw script per shape. There is a template object included showing how easily this is done. So in framed shapes, there are four basic shapes. There is an angon, a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, and a rounded angon. You can set size, frame width, and color and alpha for both the shape and its frame. For angons you can obviously set a number of corners and a starting rotation, either as a number or as a constant like tip right or flat up and so on. For rounded shapes you can set the rounding amount. The system will automatically cap at the maximum possible rounding. You can also set the rounding steps up to a very smooth rounding and down to a cut-off edge. For rectangles you can also set the position of the origin. You can set it centered or to one of the corners or to the middle of any side. You can set whether the origin should be on the inside of the frame or on the outside. This demo here does not show that, but it's easy enough to set up with just one argument in the creation scripts. The position of the origin is particularly interesting since the origin will be the center when scaling and rotating the rectangle. There are also four drawing scripts. You can draw the shape without changes with the basic draw shape script. You can draw the shape with different RGBA for shape and frame with the draw shape color script. You can set scales and rotation with the draw shape transform script. And you can set RGBA as well as transformations with the script draw shape ext. Last but not least, there's also two deletion scripts. You can delete any shape individually or all shapes at once to free up memory. So that's it already. It's no biggie, but it's free, so go ahead, try it out, and leave a comment whether you like it or have a complaint about it. I'm Reverend Greg from Gaming Reverence. I hope that tutorial showed a bit what Frame Shapes is about, and I hope you will find it useful in your projects.